I'm here with Kate Richberg today, and we've been talking about a sense of place this season. This is a beautiful piece that you created. Oh, thanks, Katie. I, I like it too. Well, of course you do. <laughs> it was inspired by almost everybody's favorite place on earth. Right, Paris and the Eiffel Tower. You know, when um, I was thinking about, you know, exotic locales, the first thing that came to mind was, ah, Paris. And the ultimate in uh, landmarks there, of course, is the Eiffel Tower, right? That's right. So I just grabbed that kind of girder design and I just uh, jumped in and started. Okay, well, what are we gonna do first? Well, so this lariat, you know, it's kind of, it has a little bit of a secret that I'm gonna share with you. And you know, when you're going on a trip, sometimes you're worried about which jewelry you're gonna pack. You know, what jewelry am I gonna throw in there? What am I gonna do? This lariat, you can wear in a bunch of different ways. So it also lightens your jewelry load when you're traveling. I like that. So as I was um, choosing my beads, I started with this little Tyla bead and I just palleted from there, taking the colors of the Eiffel Tower as my inspiration. Well, and it's great how you mix the shiny and matte surfaces. It gives it that industrial vibe. Yeah, that's what I thought too, exactly. I really, I like that mix of, of finishes for sure. And you can see here down on my beadboard, what I did was I started to just kind of string a little segment of these. Each segment, what I call like the girder segments, are a series of these 10, a pattern of 10. So it's the, um, the bugle bead, the seed bead, the tyla, and so on. So there's 10 of these going on. Okay. okay. And so then, as I was making the piece, I got kind of, I don't know, I guess maybe a brain wave, and I thought, well, how do I want to close it? because you know, I don't like to plan too far in advance. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make little secret openings along this um, lariat? So I made, I grabbed little, these kind of little rondelle beads, and I made little patterned sections uh, along, along the way. Now, when you look at the lariat, you can see we kind of have it tied right there, but you don't always have to tie it. You could slip it through this cool little opening um, that's along the strand. Okay. And I think it's kind of a fun, kind of a, I don't know, a secret message or a little secret in these. And you can see when you kind of open that up, See how that kind of opens there and you can slide the end of the lariat right through. And you can see that on the piece here as well. One of those is opened up right there. Cool. So there's a whole bunch of ways yeah, that that's you, a can, good idea. you can close it. And then I wanted a little bit of swing for the bottom, right? Because let's have a little bit of movement and fun. So I thought that ending with a little bit of chain um, would also add a little bit of industrial feel to it. Um, so it's really easy to crimp chain closed on a piece, and I think it adds kind of a nice look to what you're doing. So here on my little sample that I've made, um, let's add some chain to the bottom. Okay, right? I love adding chain with seed beads because, you know, seed beads have a more traditional feel, I would right. say, in general. And when you add some chain to it or other types of materials, it kind of takes it in a different direction. Yeah, it gives it a little more. maybe edgy kind of look to yeah. it, feel to it, right? So you can see on the tassels, one is a little bit longer than the other. I wanted to kind of vary it up a little bit so it wasn't so, you know, cut and dried across the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna start just by simply crimping as, you know, as you do, right? As we do. So we're gonna put on that crimp tube. We're gonna treat this piece of chain just like it was the end of a clasp. Right, I go through, I come back, and I uh, go back through that crimp tube, and I'm gonna pull everything tight. Now, sometimes when people go ahead and put a crimp cover on, which is what I'm gonna do next to cover this up, the, they have trouble getting that crimp cover on, and I'm gonna show you a little secret on how to get that crimp cover on, but I'm just gonna come in here with my pliers, my crimping plier, I'm gonna crimp it, then I'm gonna fold it like we do, nice and tight, give it a little bit of a hug at the end, and let's go ahead and clip away that excess right up at the crimp tube. Now, 
You want to look at the very top of that crimp tube, right? The little fold. I call it the taco. You're looking That's right down. That's a good down, name for it, right? yeah. And I call this crimp cover, I call it like a little, you know, like a little mouth. It's coming to eat the taco, right? So it comes up and under the taco. I'll move my fingers out of the way here so you can see it. See how the mouth is coming up under that taco to grab it? Now it's in there nice and firm, and I just come in with my bent chain nose pliers right here, and I give it a gentle hug closed. Oh, that's perfect. And the taco is inside the mouth. Nice. And we do that again for this second side. And after that one's done, we add, um, we add a little wire wrap um, dangle to this. And the wire wrap dangle, you know, I used a bead in the middle that had a very large hole. So I just brought that little kind of black matte seed bead uh, design element down into the dangle. And you know what, Katie, this earring, or this dangle, I gave it away. This dangle would also make a great earring. <laughs> it would right? make a great it would, earring. It would look great. So see that little rondelle bead, how it just kind of um, kind makes... Kind of aligns everything. Yeah, there. aligns everything and makes it sit. So we'll just finish it off one more time with that top bead. And then we just wire wrap it as we normally would. Right? Right. Bending. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the finished one sure. so that we can, um, I'm going to take it off yeah, here do. so that we can let's, show let's how take to a look fasten at it. it. So like we said, this is one way of wearing, a uh, one traditional way of wearing your mm -hmm. lariat. And then another way would be to just take those ends. Right, and find and that little opening. find a spot, right? Yeah, Could just find anywhere. this. Yeah, and you just kind of open it up and slide those little dangles right through. And then it kind of stays, you know, where where you put it, the little bumps in the girder kind of, you know, make everything kind of stay where you want it to. Right. And you could wrap it tight, wrap it multiple Oops. times around your neck. You know, if you're slim, you know, you could wrap it around your waist, whatever, <laughs> you know. However you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, around your wrist, yeah. whatever you want to do. Um, and, the, you know, I like the chain that you chose because that Saturn chain looks beaded itself. Exactly. Well, Beaded, yeah, but, you know. and it kind of makes that call back into the seed beads here. Right. So it's a simple, fun design, but I think it was it's an exotic little thing to do. Well, I love it. I think everyone's really, really going to enjoy making this. Oh, thank you so much, thank Kate. You, Kate. You're welcome.